most of what we do, I mean, if you're really taking on challenging problems, most of what you do day to day fails. Uh, and dealing with that failure, I mean, it almost drove me out at the beginning. But what I have found is that for students who have got what it takes, they will be successful. My observation, and this is very soft, very anecdotal, if I were to draw the correlation between how good people in the fullness of time turn out to be and how long it takes them to, be, to become initially productive and making success, it's actually more of an inverse correlation. Really? Like Kobilka. I, I mean, for years I've told the story of Kobilka, who failed miserably for two and a half years. Two and a half years in, he comes to me, uh, having had no success whatsoever. Uh, I mean, he had learned a lot. And we were trying to do one of the most challenging things that we had ever done, which was so-called cloning the receptors. That's how we discovered what they actually looked like. And that project was failing. And he says, I want to work on that. And I remember saying to him, Brian, you're getting nowhere with this thing. And now you want to work on, you want to start all over again on the most difficult thing we've got? And he said, yes. Uh, so he had an appetite for risk that I have found the most talented people have. They're somehow drawn to the most difficult, which almost by definition are the most important problems. To be successful, you want to work as far along the spectrum of trivial to gigantically important as you can before passing that critical point where it's, you have no chance of succeeding. And right. you can't look that up in a book. Uh, you just, as, yeah. you, as you have previously noted. Right. <laughs>